Hey guys, it's Crystal back here to show you what my summer housing this year at Wentworth Institute of Technology looks like. So this semester I'm in Louis Prang and I just want to start off by saying that all of the Louis Prang buildings do look different. They all have different layouts, but I believe that each um, floor has the same layout. So I'm in room 301 for 68 Louis Prang and I think 401 and 201 have the same layout, but they'll have different like storage and um, we have like all carpeting where they might have only their common room and bedrooms carpeted. So there's some small differences, but as far as layout goes, um, all these in 68 specifically look the same. So here's the door. Here's what the hallway kind of corridor thing looks like. Um, we're on the third floor and there's no elevator, just stairs. So here in the kitchen is what you first see. And I just wanna start this off by saying there are um, a good amount of things that my roommate and I brought in. So I'll just show you exactly what was already here versus what we brought. So you see we have this little coffee station to the right, um, this table, there's three of them in here. So whenever you see those, those are tables that we brought in. But it's definitely very helpful to have like smaller tables that can kind of float around. You can kind of do a lot with to bring in here just for extra like levels and space. This is the kitchen table, which is pretty nice. And um, this room, this whole suite is able to fit four people. So it's just me and one other person right now. So right here is actually one of the extra desks that are here. Um, and we're using it as like extra kitchen storage. Along with this cart, we brought this cart in, in the middle. So this is not here. We definitely needed it for extra room. Um, the refrigerator is out here in this part of the kitchen, which can be kind of weird sometimes, but especially I guess there's nowhere else to put it. And we use the top of it for extra storage for like paper towels and stuff like that. Um, oh, something important to know is that the kitchen does not have a garbage can or recycling can like they do in like 610 or 555. So you have to get your own garbage can and we just use this uh, cardboard box as a recycling bin and just dump it out in um, Evan's way, which is right here which is usually where we throw out our trash. And it's also where you do your laundry when you live here. You do it in Evan's way. So here's the kitchen area. And I gotta say the oven <laughs> is very small. It didn't fit some of the pans that I brought initially. And it's uh, very temperamental when it comes to either undercooking something or burning it. So you just gotta like learn the way that it works. Um, but you know, it, it could be worse. Um, this is the sink. So this whole kitchen area is just an oven and a sink. There's no counter space and there's very little space for these uh, cabinets. So we brought in another extra table here, which we use as a counter or as a drying rack when we do the dishes. Um, there's no disposal in the sink, which can be kind of annoying, but what can you do? Um, we bought this little cart off of Amazon, which fits perfectly. And this is where we have our spices and then like oil and vinegar and then the bottom we have our cutting boards and then we use command hooks to hold on to our kitchen towels and then over here we have this area I think most of the kitchens have this kind of nook too I'm not really sure what used to be there but this little um, cabinet thing uh, bookshelf kind of thing was not here we brought it in we have another one of it too in the common room um, but we kind of made this part of the makeshift pantry and our little appliance stack because there was nowhere else to put this stuff. So um, I know some of the other suites might have like shelves in this area or something like that, but ours came completely empty. So this is what we did with it. So this is the first bedroom right here. I believe if um, there would have been two people living here, they would have made it a bunk bed. There's, it's a it's very good size for one person, but I'd say that's about it. Um, we have the desk and the chair. Here are the dressers. And then this is the first bathroom. So this bathroom is directly in this bedroom, which is to the left of the entrance. Um, then 
You got your fire escape, Evans way. Each bedroom also has an air conditioner, so there are two air conditioners in here, um, which is really nice because it's good to keep it at like a good quality temperature the whole time. Um, then we have this little hallway that we just decorated to make it look better. And here's the common room slash living room area. So some things to note about this, it came with the table and the sofas. Um, you probably already noticed there's a couple of carpets around here. We just added those and it definitely helps. So if you have carpets, I think we have like four or five big ones and they just help make the space look a lot better along with like pillows and blankets. Um, so here you can see Luke Frank Street. This is Wentworth. This way is Evansway Park and Fenway. Um, this is the other TV stand that, um, what well, we use it as a TV stand, but the other bookshelf, like the one that we put in what probably is the pantry area. This is my room. Before we get to my room right here, oh hi, <laughs> is the second bathroom. And this is also one of the other extra desks, so we just kind of use it like casually. We don't really have anything like specific for it. Um, so in this bathroom, hi again. Uh, this medicine cabinet here has storage in it, which is really convenient, along with this um, kind of like shower caddy system. So you don't need to bring like a shower caddy or anything for extra storage, I would say, for the bathrooms. There's no vent, but there is this window here. So I usually keep the window itself open, but the shade closed, which helps when um, you're showering. There's a lot of like steam building up. Um, something else. Oh, there's also towel racks which is convenient and um, the sink is uh, oops, it's a little small but it's manageable and then as far as uh, my roommates bathroom their uh, shower head is a little low so they have to crouch down um, one last thing about the bathroom is that oh right there's no cleaning person that comes every week so you can see I have a good amount of like bathroom cleaning products in here right now. Um, I try to like clean my bathroom at least once a week, usually on Saturdays. Um, and then here is the other bedroom, which is mine full of stuff. But here's another one of the carpets. It just, it just looks nicer. Um, oh, something to note. So we have the air conditioner here. We actually have a little fan down here um, that we have. It takes the cold air from in my room and brings it out into the common room, which is really helpful on the warmer days when it's harder to keep the common room and the kitchen area cool. Um, so these are the dressers that you get. There's two in each room. And to be honest, there's really not a lot of space in them and they're very, the drawers themselves are very awkwardly shaped. So it's kind of hard to fit all of your clothes. And because of that, I have in my closet which is a little messy I have all my sweatshirts and sweatpants on the first shelf because there's just not enough room in the dressers and if you don't have a shoe rack I highly recommend you get one because they're very helpful um, as you can see there's a door here I do have a separate entrance door I have a whole key to it and everything but I don't really find like a point in needing it plus this seemed like the best place to put the dressers so this is just where I put them so that I would have better room then I use the top for like as like shelves, more storage. Um, here's my desk. And then, yeah, you see the AC. And um, definitely get a blackout curtain if you live in the one facing the street because the sun usually rises on that side or wake you up at like four or 5 a.m. if you don't have that blackout curtain. Okay. So basically, this is it. This is 68 Louis Prang. And like I said, all the Louis Prangs look different. I have been inside a room in 66 Louis Prang, and it definitely looked more dorm style, you know, like less carpeting. Um, the kitchen was bigger, but they didn't really have a common room at all. So it, it kind of depends on which one you get. So I'm just clarifying, this is only 68 Louis Prang that has this layout. And this room is 301. Each one looks different. 
And um, a good thing to say is like you kind of get out of it what you put into it. So you can see we added a lot of different things here for extra storage and just kind of like stylish things just to make the area more comfortable. And we're really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything to do with living at Wentworth or movie praying or 610, anything like that. Um, I also lived in Evans Way my freshman year, so if you have any questions about that, just let me know in the comments. Um, if you want me to show anything else, um, I might do one of those things that you should probably have videos, which will include this grocery cart. Highly recommend. But um, I believe that's it. Have a good morning, guys.